Hey guys, just wanted to say hello. Hi. Just give you some word, some encouragement on this beautiful spring day that the Lord has given you. I hope that you get a chance to get outside and enjoy it. Um, and yet in the midst of that, we know that we're still in a time of great hardship as we find ourselves uh, still at home, still waiting out uh, for the next month or so, uh, this difficult time. Hopefully some of you got a chance to read the blog that I wrote earlier this week about how we respond in the midst of hardship and how we need to seek God's grace to push past our initial reaction into a place of faith. So if you find yourself in fear today, ask God for the grace to have faith. If you find yourself in a place of criticism, look to the Lord for humility. If you are in a place of worry, um, seek the Spirit of God for the ability to find gratitude and to give thanks. When you are frustrated, ask God for peace. If you find yourself apathetic in the midst of what we're facing, look to the Lord for appropriate action in your life. And on those times when you are isolating and withdrawing inside yourself, um, ask God for strength to, to connect with other people. The Spirit of God and the power of God through Christ can give us the mind of Christ, the heart of Christ, to push past our initial reaction into those places of faith. I want to encourage you today to find gratitude, to be thankful. We have so much to be thankful for with all the beautiful spring the Lord has given us with our families, with this awesome technology that enables us to stay in touch, and of course, um, remembering and giving, giving thanks for the love of God. I want to read for you now from Psalm 30 um, to encourage us to find gratitude today. What I love about Psalm 30 is that it's honest about the struggles and the hardships of life, but the Word of God still gives thanks and looks to the Lord with gratitude. So here this morning from God's word in Psalm 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you for help and you have healed me. O Lord, you brought me up from, from Sheol. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cry, and to the Lord I plead for mercy. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness, that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Amen. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord today.